What's going on guys, it's the Lone Courier here and first off I just want to apologise the last few days for not uploading much. Uh, I've been quite ill and my hay fever has been absolutely doing my head and so I've not been doing much as in terms of videos and uh, another thing as well is my sleeping partner is completely fucked up as well. And yesterday I sat down trying to make a commentary and I was that fucking tired because I hadn't slept at all. Everything I say just made no sense at all and it was just the most... This commentary I made was the worst thing I've ever watched, you know, I watched it back this morning after I woke up and it was awful, you know, there was no fucking way that I was actually going to post that, so yeah, we just had some new gameplay from Infinite Warfare, this black sky, whatever it is, like a mission or something, and uh, yeah, so I want to have a little talk about that because obviously I want to talk about Infinite Warfare, and uh, yeah, so in this mission you can see a couple of different things, well, you can see a lot of things, but uh, there's a few things in particular that I really want to point out right now. And uh, one of them is the game doesn't actually look that futuristic, to be honest. I mean, yeah, the, the mission does end with you in space, but it doesn't look that futuristic. I mean, comparing it to Black Ops 3 or Advanced Warfare, this doesn't seem that bad. I mean, yeah, there's laser guns, or I think the character's weapon is a laser gun. But uh, it doesn't look that overly sci-fi-ish, you know? It looks more like military-esque, like, I don't know, kind of, it's kind of like they try to water it down a little bit, as if they knew that people didn't want sci-fi, so they're like, alright, let's try and tone it down a wee bit, eh lads, when they were developing it, so, I think they have kind of washed down a few things, just to kind of, like, I don't know, get the Call of Duty community on board, I guess, because obviously everyone's like, oh, this looks like utter shit, but the truth is, this mission doesn't actually look that bad. I mean, sure, it doesn't look that good, but it's not exactly terrible. I mean, it's it looks just like a mission out of Black Ops 2, you know? It's not overly futuristic or anything. So, I mean, the arguments of it being too futuristic are kind of gone out the window for this mission. Well, obviously not for the rest of the game, because we haven't seen the rest of the game, but so far it doesn't look that bad. Other than having robots and having a couple bits in space and having laser guns, none of it seems too overly futuristic. It's nothing that Black Ops 2 or uh, Advanced Warfare didn't do. And I mean, Advanced Warfare was set in 2050, and that's... You know, that's not that futuristic, I mean, that's just like 30 years off, that's not really that bad, you know? When you talk about futuristic, you're, you're expecting like thousands of years or hundreds of years into the future, not 30 years, you know? So, this doesn't look that bad. Uh, another thing I just want to point out right now that I really noticed was a couple of people boost jumping. But that doesn't actually mean that you will have boost jumps. Now, so far in this mission, I watched the entire thing a couple of times over. I didn't actually notice my character boost jump once, which tells me good things, you know? I mean, it seems that they obviously don't want you to use it from the start. Or if they do, they didn't use it. And uh, there is obviously the, the choice, the, the option that your character might have, uh, like thrust packs or whatever, like a jetpack or something. But I never saw my character use it once in this entire mission. The only people I saw using, uh, like double jumps and whatnot, where the SDF or the settlement defense front, you know, you've seen one of them boost up a set of stairs, which I'll show you right now, and uh, you'll see a couple of other people boost jumping throughout the mission, but your character never does it. And I thought at one point your character really was gonna do it, but he never. It was uh, the bit where you, you guys going up the hill and you see this massive, it's like a holly, an aircraft come flying down the hill at him. I thought he was gonna like, sight, uh, like strafe jump out of the way, like advanced warfare style. And uh, it never, so I mean that just says good things that there might not even be boost jumps in this game for your character. I mean that'd be kind of cool if the enemies could do it but you couldn't, but then I guess people would probably complain a lot about that. I mean, I, I don't know, it'd just be a cool idea in my head anyway, you know, since this set death are meant to be more advanced than like the, not the good guys or something, I don't know. It'd kind of be cool at least, you know. Uh, moving on to another thing, is the graphics in this mission. The graphics... There's not much to look at in this mission. I mean, it's obviously there is a lot to look at, but it seems that there's a lot of dust going on and stuff like that, so it's not really like you can get a good idea for graphics. I mean, there is obviously a couple of missions in every Call of Duty campaign where they put the, push the graphics to the max. I mean, uh, one of them that I assume is going to be one of those missions in this game is probably the part where uh, you're fighting on like an asteroid and it's like you're you're a bit of flying to the sun or something like that, that will probably have really good graphics or you'll you'll notice how good or bad the graphics are. But in this mission I never really noticed because it's all dusty and whatnot. But the graphics seem okay. And obviously okay 
as in normal game standards because they're not fantastic i mean they're definitely not anywhere near battlefield one if you're, if you're talking about graphics then battlefield one has beat this game completely uh battlefield one from a visual aspect is an absolutely stunning game and this game is just mediocre you know i mean i'm not saying game being mediocre as in the whole game will be but the graphics definitely aren't the best i mean i see no real advancements over call of duty ghost right here uh the graphics do look very very similar to ghosts in a lot of ways and that is a bit of a letdown but i guess when they're working with the quake engine from the 1990s there's not really much you can do and another thing i just want to say right now uh, for a lot of people they go, oh, well, they're not using the Quake engine, they're using this new engine from uh, Call of Duty. Then I really do say this one thing to you. When you get your copy of the game, when it comes out, right, if you are buying Infinite Warfare, of course, and you like to say that Call of Duty is on its own custom engine, get your box, right? You know, if you buy the hard copy, the hard disk copy, you know, the physical copy of it, look on the very back of the box, right? And it'll have a lot of small print in the bottom of it, and you just want to scan through that, and it'll say using software slash technology licensed from id software if it says that in the bottom of it that means it's still running on the quake engine from the 1990s which is yeah you don't want that on the back of your box if that's the engine you're still using you know i mean battlefield are using this new engine that they've most likely made or uh made heavy advancements on and call of duty are still using this engine from 1990 which yeah can't really handle much in the terms of gameplay dynamics i mean when it comes down to it, this game isn't going to have many dynamics to it, you know? I mean, uh, when you're playing Battlefield, there's a lot of dynamics, you know, like, just the maps themselves can be blown up and whatnot. And uh, Call of Duty's never had that, unless you count shooting down a tree, and that's not very fucking advanced, if you ask me. So, multiplayer is not going to have all these things that Battlefield 1's going to have, obviously. That's just Call of Duty right there. Shouldn't expect destruction or anything like that in a COD game unless it's minor shit like shooting down a tree you know it's not gonna have battlefield bad company style destruction where you can literally walk in and level an entire house but this game for being a call of duty game it might be okay i mean i might think it's better than black ops 3 because black ops 3 as a whole it wasn't that good a game i mean it had a good campaign it had good zombies and multiplayer yeah that, that was just god awful this year but Hopefully Infinite Warfare is better on the multiplayer front, but as of yet, we've not had anything from that. So, from what I've seen with the campaign, it looks okay. It doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to be originally. I definitely take all my original statements about this game back, you know, especially the negative ones. Because it doesn't look that bad as I thought it was going to be, you know. I mean, I thought it was going to be like 3 million dislikes worth bad, but it definitely isn't. And I think at this point, it really is just getting to the point where... A lot of the people hating on this game are just blindly hating it because, yeah, their favourite YouTuber says it's a bad game, you know? I mean, kids need to think for themselves these days, to be fucking completely honest. Too many kids are like, uh, this game's gonna suck because White Boy 7th Street said it's gonna suck. You know, shit like that, and it's like, oh yeah, dude, definitely. I mean, you're still gonna buy it anyway. I mean, uh, the perfect example is an argument, well, not an argument, it's just something I saw on Twitter earlier on one of the Call of Duty uh, the Call of Duty Twitter account. These two fucking idiots sitting there complaining about the game and then someone comes around and says, oh dude, you're still gonna buy it. And he's like, yeah, I'm gonna buy it. I'm buying it from Modern Warfare 1. And it's like, you still can't argue that. You know, if you're gonna complain about this game and say how bad it is, you have no right to buy Modern Warfare Remastered because then you're forking out 80 bucks for the Legacy Edition. And uh, if you really feel that strongly about this game being terrible, you probably won't buy the Legacy Edition. So I'm just going to say that right there because a lot of people are like, oh, fuck this game, but I'm still buying the Legacy Edition, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of funny, but yeah, I mean, this game doesn't look that bad. I, I am kind of excited for it. I mean, obviously I'm not that excited. I mean, the days of me getting absolutely excited over Call of Duty games are over. That shit that stopped happening in like 2010 for Black Ops 1 because it started realizing around then that games aren't as good as you expect them to be. So for this game, if you are excited for it, don't get yourself too excited because, yeah, every single game you get overly excited for doesn't turn out to be that good. I mean, I got overly excited for Doom and then the full release didn't, yeah, the full release wasn't that good. I mean, it was a good game. I still, I still love Doom, but, you know, the game just wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. And the same's going to happen this year with Infinite Warfare. The same happens with everything. You know, if you expect a movie to come out and you're going to be like, oh my god, this movie's going to be so amazing you're probably going to be let down, unless it's Mad Max or Star Wars, and then you definitely won't be let down there, but, 
you know. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. It's been a long career. If you've got any opinions on the gameplay that you see, leave it in the comments, and I'll get back to you. So, uh, yeah, the link's in the description for the gameplay if you want to go and watch it. I've used a couple of little snippets in the in this video, hoping that they're not going to get copyright claimed. If they do get copyright claimed, I'm going to fucking take this video down, and I'm going to repost it without the gameplay, because... Activision, you're not fucking claiming another one of my videos. Fuck you, you utter money whores. You're not doing that to me again. So, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. It's been a long career. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.